Okay, what is going on guys? So we are back with another Park and Rec episode number six. So far, this show has been pretty great. I've been enjoying it. Last episode was really good. I'm excited to keep watching this. We're just trying to keep it rolling, keep getting into it, not waste too much time. If you haven't checked out the Parks and Rec's playlist with all the other reaction videos, go watch those. Link will be in the description. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. And let's just get right into this. Andy Dwyer is getting his cast off. It is a great day for Andy. Oh, he's getting his... Oh, nice. Committee. He's healed. Yay! feel so good to walk again, finally. They might be a little weak at first. Yeah, they, the doctor's supposed to say that. You don't go right back to walking right after you get your casts off. You still keep the crutches after you get off the cast because you need to rebuild the strength in your legs to walk. You don't just start walking. Expect anyone in government to reach out to us, so thanks. You're welcome. Aww. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Anne still moves her shoulder, just like from the first episode. When Tom goes to touch her shoulder and she moves it. Lamp. Wish you were a lamp that would light up when you get touched. What kind of music does your band play? <laughs> you know, I, I don't really like to define it, but it's huge speed bump in the center of town. It's insane. So I decided I wanted to do something about it. Oh my god! It, I got it lowered two inches. Apparently what I can achieve in government can literally be measured. The band has had a few different names over the years. We started, we were Teddy Bear Suicide, but then we changed it to Mouse Rat. Uh, then we were God Hates Figs, Department of Homeland Obscurity, Flames <laughs> Flames, Muscle Confusion, Nothing Rhymes with Orange, uh, then Everything Rhymes with Orange, Punch Face Champions, Rad Wagon, Puppy Pendulum. Jesus Muscle Christ, Man. so many names. What kind of movies do you like? Oh, he thinks it's huh? a date. Uh, well, you know. Oh, that's weird. Documentaries, political thrillers. I like all kind of movies. That's great. Great. Dude, you're like 70. And she's like in her 30s. This isn't a date. Your mother mentioned that you don't date me. What? I've been focusing on my career. Why do you ask? I haven't been dating much either. You're, since my divorce. You're I, 70. Well, it hasn't been easy. I mean, I'm coping, but it was tough on the kids. Not my kids, because they're grown up, but it was tough on their kids. Should it have all this dude's a grandpa? But I feel I can tell you anything. <laughs> my ex-wife Tammy's better looking sister. Nice to meet you. Nice what? to meet you. You guys are together? Yep. My ex-wife Tammy cheated on me, then we divorced. Then last week I ran into her sister Beth here. Turns out she hates Tammy too, so we started dating. I thought that was gonna be so much worse when he was like, this is my ex-wife's sister, but Tammy cheated on Ron, so then never mind, fuck Tammy. Makes a ton of money. Bam! This is Derek. Cool, how long have you guys been dating? We're just friends. He's like the gayest person I've ever met, but I make out with him when I'm drunk sometimes. And if you don't want to talk to me, you can just say so. I don't want to talk to you. Apparently tonight I'm the Parks Department's seventh wheel. That was so weird. That guy's definitely not gay, obviously. Try some of my chicken. I'll shove that fork down your throat. Have a blue taste of chicken. Just a bit. Just a taste. Leslie Y. Oh, Leslie Y. Mmm. Delicious, right? Mm-hmm. I really like this restaurant. Yeah, it's a great place for a business meeting. Uh, we're just about to start. Could you grab me a triple whiskey water? You would like that, wouldn't you? Yep. <laughs> you have two perfectly good legs. Get it yourself. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Senior moment. Senior hey, moment. Am I keeping you from something? Yes. No, no. Yes. My friend Andy is playing in a band tonight, and I kind of wanted to go. Well... If you want to go to the rock show, I don't mind. Go. Leave him immediately. Really? Now. Are you sure? Now. Sure. Get up and leave. I haven't been to a rock show in a long time. Don't take him the with you. The last rock show I went to was the Everly Brothers. Mm. You like the Everly Brothers? No. They're my favorite rock group. They're so I don't even good. know who that is. Oh, yeah, Tom. Get it, baby. <laughs> a 
Tom is such a dork. For a second there, I thought you were hitting on me in front of my boyfriend. Well, not my style. Yikes. Even though you did just call him a big lion baby. And I do find you attractive. So you are hitting on me? No, I'm not. I promise you. But if I were, would you be interested? No. Mark is such a sleaze bag. At least Leslie made it. Unless they're just about to finish and she just missed it. Ah, uh, she just missed it. Leslie, who's your friend? I'm George. I'm Leslie's date. Yes. No idea why Anna's upset with me. But I do know she's too nice to yell at me in front of all these people, so I am not leaving this bar. <laughs> That's messed up. She's here with her dad. It'd be kind of rude to <laughs> do at least one more song. Andy. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's go. How did Leslie meet her boyfriend? Uh, she used to read him books at the senior center. <laughs> How old? It's been a really crappy night. Have a beer with me. Uh -huh. Ah, they're going to sleep together again. My mom. I don't want anyone to see. I'm the deputy director. Oh, of you're the deputy director of Parks and Blaggity Blah Blah. You know, nobody's going to see. <laughs> go, go, go on and chuck it. <laughs> Are we ever gonna turn it into a park? Leslie, this is already a park. This reminds me of Jim and Pam. I mean, you got eating their got little pizza here. on the roof. Got, uh, Screw it. I'm just gonna try to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kennedy put a man on the moon. He did. I can build one park. I really admire you. They're about to start making out. A dartboard in their backyard? That's a weird place for it. Oh my. Andy just had to see it. This isn't the way I want this to happen again. Leslie, it's not that big a deal. I think you should go home, Mark. It is for Leslie. It's not for Mark. All right. No. I oh my god. Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! Mark, are you alright? Yo, he smacked his okay? head. Oh my god. Smacked his head. Go get some help. What? You gotta get Mark? Yeah. He just yeah. fell in the pit. You gotta go check it out. You're a nurse. He's, I think he's probably be hurt. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, that was a pretty good episode, I would say. Um, I enjoyed it. Some good laughs in there. I like the story, the progression of uh mark and leslie and andy and Anne. that had to that big fight right there that was coming anyway regardless of the cast or anything that that relationship was not looking well they were rocky especially because i think Anne is way too good for andy <laughs> at least for who andy is right now Anne is way too good for him so that was getting rocky that just is what it is and mark and leslie yeah, I figured they were going to do it again, but yeah, it seems, I mean, we knew from the first episode that Leslie has feelings for Mark, and it seems Mark is not in a place to have feelings for anybody. He's just sleeping around, and for Mark, it would be, it would just be a night, you know what I mean? It would just be, they, they'd fuck for the night, and that's it, whereas Leslie, she wants more than that. And so I'm glad Leslie had enough self-restraint to not go through with it. Uh, Andy's band is pretty good. I actually think their music is dope. Ron and Tom dancing with their respective partners that night. That was fun. And, uh, you know, everyone just getting a drink, having a laugh, having a good time. It was, it was nice to see. So that was good. That was nice. Yeah, so those are my thoughts. If you guys have any ideas, comments, suggestions, leave them down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Woo!